Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. What's your encouragement to young people? Maybe they're watching right now. They're like you. You know, they went on that trip, or maybe they're heading out, going on a trip, but then next steps, they're trying to find out, are you going to go after the American dream as elusive and silly as that really is? Or are you going to go after something else? What What is what is their call to be involved in the big K kingdom, not the small mm. K kingdom of the world? Oh, yeah, that's a good question and thought. Uh, I, I think um, I was tr- to try to encapsulate this, I think, as I said, maybe mentioned before, that that humble courage hmm. or courageous humility. Either way, it works both oh, ways. Okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> I see brave heart in either of those. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that courageous humility to understand, okay, I, I want to go out and take the risk. I want to pursue this. I feel passionate about this. But even though I haven't been around the block too many times, I also know I need help. I need to learn. I need to really get the right weapons or be equipped for that task. Okay. And I would say, don't just do all your training before you go. You know. Some of the older models is like you got to do all these years of training before you're even allowed, you know, to then start learning language. I, I don't think those models are the end all be all. I think you need to do a, a level of training and equipping and mentoring before you go, as you go, while you're there. And a lot of what you learn is going to become real once you are doing it. And you <laughs> yeah. can't, you, there's no substitute for that. And so I think just being willing to step out with that that passion or that courage or that thing you feel strongly about. Um, but, but, but understanding that God's ways are ways of humility and wisdom and humility is so strong, especially in the face of adversity, in the face of what the world values of, you know, kind of that ultimate, like macho pride, that stuff falls flat on its face, yeah. you know, quickly. We <laughs> David and Goliath would be a great, you know, example. Literally There's a lot of pride. Literally falling on your face. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> And, but I think there's a boldness that needs to come to. There has to be such a boldness to just step out and say, I think this is what God's calling me to, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, but I'm also going gonna, gonna to realize I need to equip myself as I go too, not just before I go, but as I go. And, and it's going to be, you're going to get there wherever and doing whatever, and you realize, wow, I, I really need to know more about this thing. Hmm. How do I do that? And I think there's lots of options to be able to step away and say, okay, I'm going to get equipped with that now that I know what I needed and then come back to it. Um, but yeah, that, that there, there's such a wisdom that the Lord has in these things and, and blending generations together, blending cultures together. You know, why I'm in most of the missions world, there's just so many nationalities involved. It's not just the West yes. by any means. So international. And you, you realize each of these cultures, each of these nations kind of generally have a very big strength. And they help cover our weaknesses. And together in team and in, in this you know, missions life, that's where we can accomplish the most is in cross generations, um, across nation, nationalities being very international and, and, and learning from each other as we go. And so I just see a balance in how God operates, you know, the short term, the long term, males, females. Um, it's just so critical to, to, to be willing to, to get on a plane and go and have that zeal to change a huge issue in the world and to be a part of that change. And then to also, once you get there, you're like, all right, now this is, this is serious. You know, I, who, who's already doing it? Who can I ask to go with me? Yeah. Who can I ask who's gone there before? And I might do it in a whole new way. I might be doing some things for the first time, but there's certainly others that the Lord has around that I can draw from and either not reinvent the wheel, which is kind of a waste of resources or fall flat on my face and be out the door. All too soon. Yeah. Yeah. Courageous humility. I like it. Yeah. I think that's something that should it permeate the missions task force around the world, the world would be transformed. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Also, you might want to check out this video here. And honestly, that one's not bad either. Make sure you subscribe to Missions Pulse by clicking the subscribe button right here. And also click that little bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video.